all right everyone so we're back for another test this is a rematch um, between Komodo and Kaspersky uh, free editions as some of you guys did request this so we'll obviously um, change some of the settings to beef it up a bit and we have a nice um, rainy day today so it will keep these two cool during the test um, so let's look at Kaspersky on the left Okay, so file antivirus, um, as you guys can see, we changed it to block mode. So it's not on automatic anymore. Set to scan all files, heuristic is set to high. Um, to scan all files, not only the files that are changing. Scan archives, all of that is um, set to all. No um, limitation on packing um, archives or compact files. Still set to smart mode. Scan technologies are enabled. Um, exclusions as we only have one that is the script and we exclude it from all the protection modules to make sure it doesn't interfere um, for web antivirus um, we also set it to block the download um, everything here is enabled and um, let's maybe throw that one in the mix so it's now set to deep scan um, and etc. So we'll save that quickly. Okay, mail, mail antivirus we're not testing, but it is on. So um, network attack blocker is enabled. No exclusions. AMS integration, all of this is enabled. Okay, system watcher. Um, we change it to block action. Action here is to terminate the application. The other ones are just to delete the application or to ignore it. Um, but we've chosen to terminate the application, so just to kill it, not and um, delete it, because then we can maybe see if the signatures do pick up those those programs. Um, action performed for anything is just to automatically roll back um, and screen lockers. So that's that. Kaspersky security network is enabled. General, as as per normal, we haven't changed anything here. Self-defense is enabled. Threats and exclusions, we already did that. Network, interface, manage, and additional. And that is about that. So then we've got um, Komodo on the right. Um, we changed the theme. Um, we've used the modern theme for the last couple of tests, so we changed the theme a bit. Um, updates, full signature database, antivirus, set to high, block everything, firewall, set to block request, all advanced settings are enabled, application rules, global rules, Okay, that's it. We haven't changed anything there. Heaps is enabled with block request and advanced mode is enabled. Um, I don't think we've ever shown this, but um, activities to monitor, as you guys can see, all the heaps um, activities are enabled. These are the rules. Um, rule sets, protected objects. Um, we did add the protected data for the Komodo, so this is a change that we made. Um, so we've got that, these are the groups, okay, so for containment, set to run automatically, green border, um, not to access clipboard, so these are the rules again, to block anything that's known, contain anything that's unknown, file rating is enabled, We this was enabled in the last test, um, we've disabled it for this test to trust um, installed by trusted installers, so not to trust that. Um, that should give us a little bit more um, security. Okay, virus scope is enabled and to monitor everything. Okay, scripts, uh, all of that's enabled. Auto runs, all of that is enabled. And yeah, to quarantine and disable. Um, so not to detect shellcode is for our script, so that's the only exclusion, and that's that for Komodo. 
um, our samples for today is a thousand four hundred and seventy um, including all the latest and nasties of the wild west they're all in there um, fresh samples so we're going to quickly extract them and then we'll start the test and all the malware has been extracted so we've got quite a bit of samples today um, in the mix um, we decided to include um, Linux files and things like that just to see if they do tend to pick up um, other OS um, type of um, threads um, so we've got quite a bit of samples um, there might be folders in here as well so it might not all be malware um, okay no it seems like it's all malware okay so <laughs> we've got quite a bit of samples unfortunately I didn't think it's going to be this much when I extracted it but hey what the hell let's do this okay so we've got almost a 4,000 <laughs> samples um, as you guys can see same for same um, let's just make sure that these two are up to date okay so it seems like that is the case for Komodo um, I think I'm going to start the test first for Komodo Komodo is a bit slower to test with the containment than the other vendors um, so s whichever one is finished first I'm just going to start the test seems like it's going to be Kaspersky okay so it says updating files so it looks like they are updated so that's good doesn't seem like there's updates for Komodo okay so let's start enabling the protection here Okay, so it seems like Kaspersky is up to date, so that's good. Let's resume the protection. Let's just give it some time for the settings to take effect. Okay, so Komodo, everything is enabled. It's up to date. We'll close that. Start the test. Okay, so as you guys can see, machines are clean. No funny malware running before okay seems like Kaspersky is up to date as well it's protected let's start okay guys so I think this test is going to take some time it might be a bit of a long video sorry for that because I had no idea it's going to be this amount of malware when I extracted it but I think it's going to be fun and, and interesting to see um, and yeah so they're all doing their thing I haven't seen any pop-ups yet um, hopefully there's no problems during this test and then we'll look at the results once they're all done the test for Kaspersky is finally done um, this is the only advanced disinfection pop-up that we actually received um, let's just look at what is still open uh, close all these pictures ok 
Okay, I'm just checking what is still open. Sorry guys, it is a bit slow, but I just want you guys to see for those who maybe are interested. Okay, so this is the same ransomware pop-up that we got um, for the Archibald machine, if I'm not mistaken, the previous test. But I can't see ransomware infection on the machine. I think it's just a notification, but I, did, but I do think Kaspersky actually did stop it. Just close that. Close that. And then Kaspersky did block this thing from downloading. Okay, so I'm going to apply the selected. I'm going to say disinfect and restart the computer so that you guys can see that I am actually selecting it. Okay, just still waiting for the Kaspersky pop-up. I don't see anything opening yet. Okay, there we go. Okay, so it's busy doing the scan. Um, Komodo is a bit behind, but at least then it gives um, Kaspersky a bit of time to do its scan. Because we'll obviously have to do a full scan after this, so it's going to take quite quite a couple of hours maybe and yeah i'll let you guys know okay and the test for uh, komodo is also done um, I'm just going to quickly clean out the container because we still have two um, files running in here. Okay, the container is reset. Um, someone did ask the last time that we need to check which modules did block what to see um, what module is the most active. So I'm not going to go through all of them. It's just way too much to go through. Um, but we can see heaps and antivirus, heaps and antivirus. So the AV module is active here, um, AV and containment. So the common module there is AV so far. Okay, heaps and containment. Uh, there's three of them, AV, heaps and containment. Okay, so then from here on, so here it's just the antivirus module, so I would say all the way from the top till about this section here is AV, and then from here on this is containment. So it looks like containment actually blocked the most, but I think we already passed the line for AV. So containment, yeah, so it seems like containment is the most active module. And then we obviously got a couple of heaps. Okay, so that's about it. Okay, cool. So that is what was blocked. Um, let's maybe just check the quarantine. Okay, so quite a bit of malware here. Um, we're just going to see if all this malware was submitted. Okay, so Kaspersky is still busy. Um, Komodo obviously wants to restart through the program, which we'll do now. Um, we're just going to double check that all the malware was submitted. Um, so far, it seems like it is. The quarantine, and then we've got about 1,277 unknown files. Um, I think Komodo is still busy uploading these files, um, but once 
these two um, um, sections are done then I'll um, restart Komodo through this notification and then start the full scan. Okay guys, so we are back. Um, I had to pause the VMs um, after I did the scan, so, I'm re so I've just resumed the VMs. Um, had a couple of things I had to do, so we're back. Um, this is the message that we have for Kaspersky. Let's quickly have a look see. So Komodo cleaned those threads. I'll just close that. I'm not sure what all these nonsense is. Okay, just gonna close that. Gonna restart the Komodo machine in the meantime. Okay, so Kaspersky, we're just gonna check for malware damages. I assume that once this infection was completed, I'm not sure. Um, I left them all overnight. Okay, so we're gonna restart this machine reboot it now and then once they're all back and up and running again we're going to start the third party opinion scans and then we'll look at the results Okay, so just some feedback from me. Um, the full scan is finished, but as you guys can see, um, 1,279 objects um, not processed and it triggered another advanced disinfection again. So this is the second advanced disinfection running. Um, I'm going to see how it goes. If it's going to take too long, I'm going to cancel it. Um, this test has been running for quite a bit of time. Um, Kaspersky now needs to decide what it wants to do with the malware. Um, Komodo's already done, dusted. I just need to do the malware byte scan, then that's done. Um, and I need to still run third party opinion scans for Kaspersky. So I'm going to give it a bit more time to scan and see what it wants to do. If it's going to take too long, I'm going to cancel it and then just uh, jump into the third party opinion scans. Okay guys, so the Kaspersky machine is finally restarting. So Kaspersky is done with the advanced disinfection, so it's automatically rebooting. So I'm going to wait for it to come up again, then I'm going to start with the third party opinion scans. Um, and then we'll look at the results once they are all And we are at the end of the test finally okay guys so let's have a look see at the results for hitman pro let's look at uh, kaspersky so we have one two three 
four files um, under app data and that seems to be that okay so the rest of the malware oh sorry and then we've got another one here and then we've got a library file on the system 32 so one two uh, three four five six okay so six files that are picked up by hitman pro um let's see how many there is for komodo one two three four four Okay, so as you guys can see, Kaspersky did remove more malware. Um, Komodo did not remove nearly as much. So it seems like there's five for Komodo and six for Kaspersky. Um, still very close, but obviously Kaspersky did better in the sense of removing more malware. There's a lot more on the Komodo machine. Okay, so we can close that. Um, I also just want to bring under your attention for Kaspersky, um, there's still 113 objects. Uh, it seems like it either didn't remove it or it had problems removing it or I don't know why it didn't remove it. But according to Kaspersky, still 113 threats resolved, but I'm not gonna resolve it by Kaspersky because we did an advanced disinfection, a full scan and another advanced disinfection. So I think um, we gave Kaspersky a fair chance. Um, where were we? Oh, yeah, Norton. Let's go get Norton. So 11 versus 6. Let's just see what's happening. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 high ratings according to Norton and 3 for Komodo. Um, that same Chinese player thing again. Uh, what is this? Okay, then a couple of stuff here in local, and then the, it's that Atom Tweaker, which is on the desktop, which the program that installed. And these are all the low ones. App data again. For Komodo, we have one in temporary files, a Razor or something. It's an EXE. Looks like a fake image or something. App data, then we've got a JavaScript and documents. App data, malware on the desktop. Um, did Norton actually pick up anything on the desktop on this side? Uh, no, okay, go. Cool. So, so it says app data, yeah. So, so one of the six results for Komodo is a malware on the desktop. So actually five malware for Komodo outside of the test folder and 11 for Kaspersky. Uh, let's just close that, close that. Okay, now let's look at MSISoft. Okay, so a lot, <laughs> a lot more for Komodo. Let's look at the locations. Okay, cool. so, okay, so let's quickly have a look. See, so we've got obviously one under Windows, and then we've got malware on the desktop. On the desktop, uh, let me maybe just fold forward this a bit. Okay, so then we've got here under app data, app data, and app data. So not that many. The majority seems to be malware on the desktop. So that is good. Let's see for Komodo. Um, seems like we've got two tasks running here. Uh, that's not good. Uh, two tasks. Okay, so we've got two tasks running. I wonder if it's maybe not this. Yeah, I think it could be related to this. Um, it just seems like it, it's an HTML 
uh, window. I don't think it's malware itself, but it can potentially lead you to a malicious site. So I think it's that. And then we've got the malware stuff and the documents, two and documents, uh, desktop malware. Okay, so it's gonna be quite a bit. Okay, so it seems like a bit more results for Komodo with uh, MSISoft. Okay, so it seems like uh, one, two, okay, cool. Couple of, let's look at malware bytes. Okay, so for Komodo, ah, uh, sorry, for uh, Kaspansky, we obviously got that atom tweaker thing again. Then we've got app data, app data, same thing that Norton was complaining about. Uh, app data, app data, then desktop is that shortcut to that um, atom tweaker. Then it's malware on the desktop. Okay, and then we've got a scheduled task, I think. Yeah, so we've also got a scheduled task. I wonder if it's maybe not this one. So after every startup, we get this pop-up. So you guys can see it's a Chrome update. So um, I know, I'm not sure if you guys are aware, but you, there are those new Chrome and Edge fake updates floating around on the internet to say it's a Chrome or Edge update. The one that I know of, I think it is called MacNiber or MacNiber, or depends on how you pronounce it. That's one of the ransomwares that um, is like a Trojan. It pretends that it is a Chrome or an Edge update, but it's actually not. It installs ransomware. Um, so I wonder if it's maybe not this, because it seems like it's a Chrome update. So I'm making assumptions, but I wouldn't be surprised if that is maybe one of those type of rans ransomwares that was in our samples. So I've closed it, but that starts up every single time. Um, so I wonder if it's maybe not related to that task, but that's fine. So let's look at it. We've got a couple of registry keys. One, two, three, four registry keys. Okay, so we've got four registry keys. Um, we've got a couple of stuff on the program data. Uh, oh wait, this is a Komodo's quarantine folder. So Malwarebytes is picking up malware inside the quarantine folder. So we're not going to list that. That's obviously not malware because it is quarantined. As you guys can see, Komodo CIS quarantined data. So this is malware in the quarantine folder. Uh, up until here. Okay, cool. So then from here on, it is app data. That same one that uh, Hitman Pro picked up. Same one, that PDF thing again, app data. Quite a bit in under app, uh, no, okay, wait. Let's go back up again. So up until here is EXEs under app data. These are just the shortcuts. I don't really rate that. So I'm not rating it for Kaspersky. I'm not rating it for Komodo. So these are all just shortcuts that were created. As you guys can see. So then we've got a couple of EXEs. Those are on the desktop. Uh, there will be quite a bit of them, so let's skip, should be around about here. Okay, so it looks like luckily no registry keys modified, so that's good, so let's test up and then we've got this um, file, uh, which is emotet, that is normally to do with a library file. Um, Okay, so luckily no registry keys, so yeah, mixed results. Um, this is actually a quite a difficult one to come to a conclusion. Let's look at files. So these are the documents one. A um, bunch of nonsense in there. And let's look at Kaspersky, okay, desktop, desktop. Okay, so as you guys can see, day and night difference between the Archibald and Max Secure, which are paid versions. They were infected with ransomware and Max Secure didn't even want to boot up. These two are free AVs and the machines aren't actually in that bad of a condition. 
So nothing for Kaspersky, so that's good. Komodo unfortunately has all this nonsense. Um, batch files and stuff in the documents. Pictures, pictures. Pictures are untouched, nothing's infected, we're good to go. Um, let's actually see if we can actually break this machine. Let's see what happens if we execute all this stuff. Okay, so as you guys can see, Komodo is containing them. I'm not sure why it's not giving us a pop-up. Um, oops. So we want to see if we can break this machine. Ah, there we go. Uh, it's just a bit slow. Oops. Uh, that's that web zoom. Uh, let's quickly see what Komodo is doing. Okay, so as you guys can see, Komodo is containing them. It's just not removing them via signatures. So there are some pros and cons to that, but at least when they do execute, if this is, if this is the actual payload um, or fileless attack, it seems like that it is useless. Komodo is containing them. As you can see, the number is increasing and decreasing, and it is unknown. Okay, so it was already submitted. Okay, so it seems like it can't do harm to the machine, as you guys can see, it is in containment. So it's bad that it's there in documents, it's not good, it's not supposed to be there, but at least in Komodo's own defense, um, as you guys can see, green border, it actually can't do any damage to the machine. Okay, so... Um, let's, let's look at all the startup items. Yeah, so, so yeah, there's the Chrome update thingy. And no startup for Komodo. Let's look at malware that was left over. <laughs> Bit of a day night difference. And this, you can most probably even count not as malware. Um, See, these are the songs that were opening up. That was that, I don't know if you guys remember, there's that um, audio player. So it obviously wants to load this. So only most probably from here on is malware. Okay, guys, I think this is the conclusion. Um, it is a bit of mixed results. But let's quickly recap and, and look at what actually happened. So for Kaspersky, um, Good detection rate obviously via signatures and heuristic analysis a lot more malware was removed um, static malware on the desktop itself was removed versus Komodo so I would say let's maybe let's maybe start with the cons first sorry guys my brain is a bit rattled today so let's look at the cons so we obviously have one two three four programs that are installed um, which obviously malware used to install these programs and I think it was Norton that complained something about Chrome which might be related to this Chrome update in here um, but it could be that it's partially damaged where Kaspersky removed some of the files it needed to actually start up so it is like a bit of a broken startup um, but it can be a security risk. This one I have absolutely no idea. Um, so the cons, obviously Kaspersky has startup items. Um, so things are starting up. Um, according to um, Malwarebytes, there are four registry keys, if I'm not mistaken. So we have some registry modification, unfortunately. Um, there are still malware, according to Kaspersky, that it has not resolved. Um, it did two advanced disinfections and one full scan. Um, I didn't ev even give Komodo those um, opportunities, one scan and one scan only. Um, I did check for verdicts and things like that, but I gave Komodo only one chance to do a full scan. So Kaspersky at least had three, three scans. Um, yeah, so 
there are a bit um, negative signs to the um, Kaspersky test, but the pros, I would say at least no, no ransomware infection, no data loss or whatever. Um, it had a good file detection um, rate because um, I think it was over 3,000 malware samples, all in all, including Windows, Linux, and Android um, operating systems. So Kaspersky did remove a, a lot of the malware, so that, that's really good, just they've got good signatures. Um, and yeah, so I would say I won't really trust this machine again, just a, a backup and reload, unfortunately, due to those startup items and the registry modifications. If you want it, you can just use malware bytes or that to obviously clean the machine, but it is a risk that you run because remember, um, even though whatever the vendors are picking, there's a good chance that all these vendors might actually miss something. So even the third party opinion scans, it's not a 100% definite, that's the only malware that's on the machine. There might be something that's hidden, which none of them are actually picking up. So I would say safety sakes, just reload the machine. But Kaspersky stole that really, really well. Um, at least the machine is starting up and it's not broken and things like that. And there's no ransomware infection. So that is really, really good. I'm, I'm still happy with Kaspersky's results, but um, maybe a slight, also a bit uh, disappointed, to be honest. I did actually expect more from um, Kaspersky, but I would say still good results, considering it was about 3,000 or so samples, but not all of those samples can actually infect this operating system, so we just need to keep that in mind. Um, for Komodo, also a couple of pros and cons. Um, the cons i would say um, i'm a bit disappointed that we have um, this amount of nonsense in the documents they are um, not supposed to be there especially with, with the uh, containment so i'm not sure actually why they're there so i'm a bit disappointed in komodo in that sense but at least in komodo's own defense that malware is still rendered useless you guys saw when we executed, they all went directly to containment. So if there's any type of malicious activity that tries to call up one of those uh, malicious, uh, one of those files or batches to execute them, um, they will go back into containment. So it's a 50-50. We've got malware on the uh, in the documents, but they are still actually useless. But um, I'm still labeling it as a con. Um, I don't want to see that there. But... Um, the other cons I would say is um, not as much malware removed as uh, Kaspersky. Um, there's still quite a bit of malware um, in the folder, over a thousand still, but which is not bad considering it was over 3,000, so still not, not bad. Um, I've seen worse vendors, but uh, compared to the two, Kaspersky definitely did better. Um, but at the end of the day is I would rather take a machine that has less infection um, and more malware on the desktop, but it can't do harm than a, a machine that removed more malware on the desktop, but has more infection. So I'm not too, f yes, Komodo might have poor signature detection sometimes, but at the end of the day is, it is, if your, is your machine protected and clean, um, I'm not too faded about um, static detections. It depends on if you're protected or not. So, Cons, I would say, um, the other con I need to list as well, I've contacted uh, Komodo's technical support regarding this problem. Um, I sent them actually an email maybe half an hour ago, where um, I'll show you guys that now, is when you look at the lookup, I did this lookup maybe half an hour ago. Um, we can actually do it now so that you guys can see it live. Let's do a lookup again. I'm just gonna stop it there, okay. So as you guys can see, these files are still rated as unrecognized. So during the test, I kind of saw that Komodo is taking extremely long to rate these files, which is bad. Um, so what I did was is I uploaded the files to my business account. So I'm just dragging and dropping for you guys. Um, these files have already been rated by Komodo as malicious. So you'll see um, I took the four EXEs. Um, oops. So I took the four EXEs. Um, so as you guys can see, I know some of you might 
be interested in this and some of you might not so um, I'm just doing this for those who are interested so if you guys can see let's take double zero two zero d4 so let's quickly have a look at that one uh, let's find it uh, so there we go double zero two zero d4 so this is the same malware that was uploaded so as you guys can see double zero d4 blah 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 uh, six four i think ends there so this file was uploaded by me 11 hours ago or 18 hours ago i uploaded this file um, and a human expert analysis 11 hours ago rated this file as malicious i have absolutely no idea why the home version says it's unrecognized so i've actually rated all these files all 2000 files that <laughs> Um, Komodo business has rated as malicious for some reason the home version says they all unrecognized I have no idea if this is a bug in the program or but this is a bit of a concern for me um, so I've sent tech support information screenshots I asked them why is the business version saying this is malware and took a couple of hours to raid it where after 18 hours or actually even more now or as example so you guys will see 003a and let's look at 003a okay there we go 003a so as you guys can see rated by human expert already on the 18th we are already on the 19th and the home version is just not picking it up so i've absolutely no idea why that is i did contact tech support as i said i don't want to repeat myself but i did contact them um but um this has been rated as already as malware so i've no idea why the home version says it's not malware so this is the same result for um basically all those files but if you only take these four the first four as examples um you'll see women generate kill chain reports so there's definitely either a problem with the home version or Komodo is a bit slacking in the home department but I can't see why though why they will use different databases um, for home and for business it just doesn't make sense if a malware is known it's supposed to be known for home and business so as you can see we, we, got, we have a couple of different classifications for these malwares so that's just a little FYI this is normally what I work with on a regular basis um, but yeah, so I just thought that's maybe food for thought. So that's another con for me about the home version. Maybe it's buggy. Maybe it needs to be updated. It is almost a year old now. So this version is outdated. This is Kaspersky's latest version that I did download from their website a month or so, two months ago. Komodo needs to update this version. They need to make it more Windows 11 compatible. Um, but I did contact Komodo support. So let's see what they say. And maybe I can help them. Um, bring this under the attention so um, pros I would say at least no ransomware infection no problems with our documents even though we have that nonsense in there it's not infected you can just leave those out when you when you check there's no PUPs installed um, Kaspersky has a couple of programs that installed um, so as you guys can see one two three four programs no pups for komodo komodo has no registry modifications no startup items as you guys can see startup items are clean um yeah we, we have no weird pop-ups and things like that um yeah so it is extremely close for me but I but yet again i'll swing komodo's way and it's not because it's my preferred vendor um, it's just when i look at the results if you take a and b kaspersky has startup items komodo has not kaspersky has registry modification komodo has not kaspersky um, installed four pups komodo has not um, kaspersky is still complaining a bit about malware that it couldn't remove komodo has not Komodo is not picking up the other malware, but at least it's not saying it is malware and it cannot deal with it. 
eventually, most probably in my lifetime, <laughs> the home version will be aware of these malware and it will just effortlessly remove them. So although there's malware on the desktop, if we're going to execute them, they will be, have absolutely no effect on the machine. And let's maybe do that. Let's maybe see. Sorry guys, I know this video is going long, but for those who like Komodo and want to check and things like that, um, maybe this video is more for you. Just want to do that effort. So as you can see, um, running restricted. So this, this is more important for me than an AV that removes more malware because yes, signatures might quote unquote suck compared to other vendors. Um, and it's not always, Komodo seems to go up and down, up and down, then it's good, then it's bad. But I would rather have a machine that has more malware in a folder, but it can't do anything to the machine than have a third of the malware. But if you do execute them, it is that bit of uncertainty like is my machine going to be infected or is it not where with at least with komodo you're gonna you can almost execute the malware with kind of confidence and no it's actually not going to do anything so as you guys can see this whole thing running in containment let's run 3f so as you guys can see 3f has run virtually so i'm not too worried about that um it is it would be nice if they can improve the signatures obviously um but I would still say Komodo did better for me overall than um, Kaspersky um, because I'll trust, I, I trust the Komodo machine more because it, there's just more, uh, sorry, less visual damage um, for malware than with the um, Kaspersky machine, unfortunately. So for me, Komodo took this win again. I know some of you don't agree with me, um, also with the previous test. But um, for me, Komodo won again. Um, it's just purely, you can see the results. But yeah, um, I've, but I've been honest. I've, li I've listed a couple of things about Komodo that is a bit concerning. I've showed you guys, they take extremely long to rate files um, where the business version already. So I'm not sure what's happening there with Komodo. But if they do actually come back to me, I would, I, I would um, definitely update you guys randomly in one of the next videos. But yeah, this is me on a rant. Sorry guys. Um, let me know what you guys thought about the video, if it was informative, hit, the, hit me in the comments what you guys thought about this test. If you still think Kaspersky is better, let me know, we can chat about it. Um, what you guys thoughts are, you know, these are the results. Um, and yeah, let us know what other tests you guys want. So this, um, we're not going to test Kaspersky now for a while. We've tested it quite a bit, so um, we're going to give room for other vendors now. So Komodo and um, Kaspersky is go, going to go a bit on ice. I think we've tested these products quite a bit. Now we're going to leave room for the other vendors. A couple of other tests we need to do. So I'll see you guys in the next one.